Ooh. How are we doing today, ma'am? Nick will be here shortly. Don't riot. It's tempting to riot at a time like this. But Nick's on the way. You know, any second now. That was... My apologies, Jen. I had to get cigarettes. Well, you got you got your smokes now. I got the smokes here. We're all good. We're all good. Yeah? Yeah, we're, we're fine. We turned it down. <laughs> Take a look. Watch out. You got that... You got that bad bow tie out there. Just ready to roll some gold. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Yo, when you click like, it helps me help my daughter. We are out on 150 Woodmont Way. I'm sucking a dog's dick right off the rip. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God, man. I'll tell you what, like, ah, like, ah, Jesus Christ. That's uh, I'm gonna throw a little affin pinch in there in the pool and I'm gonna go come get him. I'm gonna be like, all right, I get it. I'm gonna throw a Portuguese water dog right there in the pool and I'm gonna come get it. And is this new? That's what, this, is, this might be the first new house. When was this built? 05, 05 French Revival. Yeah, man, this house is fucking awesome. They did a great job. Now, all right, this is built in 05. Now, I got a lot of appreciation for this lady who built this. Um, enclosed porch. Just from a landscaping perspective, identifying the need for an enclosed porch in the south, fantastic, all right? You got a little moisture problem here. It's gonna happen. You got all the right materials. Nothing over the top. Kitchen's not great, but the floors, floors are great. Those heart pine floors, southern yellow pine. Um, the brickwork is timeless. See how bricks don't get old? See how this house looks like it, like it fooled me? I thought it was like 1920s for real. You guys, you, you know, I'm pretty good at like, the molding through me, but yeah, all day long. Again, I don't know, wow, look at that right. Yeah, just a big old well done house. The build quality is really considerate. Like there's no, like even right here where there could be mistakes, there's not. I like this. Look at the doors, double French doors. Bluestone cap, brick patio on the gunite pool. The landscaping's done well. Vase-shaped trees, skirted. See where you expose this tree. I, I, I say that a lot of times, skirting, that's what I'm talking about. You can get a really ratty tree looking like this after a couple of years if you take care of it, prune it correctly. Learn how to prune a tree correctly, you can be cutting off the wrong. But the, uh, the bluestone here, the uh, thermal flamed bluestone, irregular pattern, just good old school material, executed well. Topiary style gardening and fucking stanchions, five car garage, five car garage. Uh, great house, probably the first house built in this, this uh, century that I'd, uh, that I'd fucking rim a uh, Dalmatian for. Yeah. Yeah. I had French kiss a dog for 10 minutes in front of my graduating class at, the, at my 20 year reunion for that house. <laughs> All right, toss me the keys. Yeah. Nah, ten more, Nicky. Hey. Ten more minutes. Hey, everybody, it's the loser <laughs> from high school. The, the loser that, that I was... The, look, it's, it's me, the horse girl from high school. I'm back. I'm going to make, make out with this quick Dalmatian for 20 minutes. Start the timer. All right. And my friend uh, Steve Rayolas here. Steve, why don't you hold the timer here? Why don't you go ahead and start the timer? I'm going to make out with this dog for 20 minutes. I got to let... Not your fault, I got a $2 million house in Mississippi that was really well done, built in 05. And they're like, built in 05? I thought you like old houses. I'm like, that made an exception. He did a good job with the brick and the blue stone. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So the 101st Dalmatian is going to be at my, uh, my 20 year high school reunion, and I'll be kissing it for a house. This is a nice house filled with shit. This is a nice cluttered house. Where do you want to put the bookcase? At the end of the bunk beds, obviously. More stuff in this house. Where can I put some empty flower pots on top of the air conditioning unit? Obviously. What do you want to look at? Everybody in the neighborhood, Ron. <laughs> I want to make sure I can hear everyone. I want to live in the middle of it all. This is a house for a drama queen. I likes to start shit. Nice. Oh, you did a good job cutting the lawn. You cut it once. See, this is what happens when you cut the grass because it's too high and then you just leave the shit on top of it and then the burnt clippings are all underneath there. Great job. So, cluttered house. Nice uh, Governor Winthrop tiger oak drop front uh ladies writing desk nice i like the uh the pizza place uh plate the pizza place uh tablecloth very good and make sure we have all the stuff out we've got medications out we've got bread out 
We've got powdered creamer out. We've got all our oils out perfectly. This is the stuff we want. A china cabinet filled with nothing. Pictures placed like a schizophrenic maniac. And just let's leave it all out. Nice. Perfect. Office. Why don't we have personal details? Why don't we open your diary to the worst page? It's just so funny that the only house that I don't like, I don't like these houses because I kind of just trade sideways. Um, it's just filled with the stupidest shit of the night. I understand if you bought it and I get it. For all of you who are thinking about buying houses, for you like watch this stuff, but you truly hate it and you're like this, Nick, I hate this stuff. I hate the fixing of the houses. That sounds like shit to me, then buy a condo. Don't do anything. That's not a condo, that's a town. It looks like they even cut their own grass or the people cutting their own grass. But remember, you, when you live in a townhouse in a community, you have lots of neighbors. You, so go through it all, have fun with it. But everything's got their, you know, grass is greener situation. But if you don't wanna do shit, oh, you bought that? God damn it, you bought that? Holy shit, bro. I mean, it's 179,000. Comparable homes, look, there's probably 6,000 of them. Look at this shit. So you bought the nicest unit, but they're all three bed, three bath. So now you're playing a square footage game. Cool, mine has 1,400, mine has 157 square foot more. Yeah, it's a double. Don't spend a lot of money on it, man. Just clean it up. Just live in the thing like it's a fucking hotel and then just keep it and then rent it out down the road. That's all. It's not that much. You can, you can swing it. Um, down the road, you'll be able to get rent that'll cover that. That's the way you uh, get out of it. And then you have a, a $200,000 savings plan just working itself off. And yes, you can keep it and you'll probably get a pretty plain Jane renter there, which is good. They rent out pretty easy and it does have a high bedroom count. I've had friends that have owned, uh, that have bought starter condos. And then what they do is when they exit them, they just rent them out. I'm fucking 38 years old now. Cut to us 14 years later when they bought them when they were a 24 year old, uh, you know, well-to-do guy. And now they have a, a place that sometimes is paid off or halfway paid off. So uh, that's, and, and they didn't, they rented it out the entire time. Long-term tenants. All right, so we are in Kentucky. We're at 4874 Elkwood Drive, Burlington, Kentucky. Would you pay for it? 199? Trying to fuck with me, man? What are you trying to fuck with me, dude? What do you think, I'm fucking stupid? You're gonna show me? Show me 120,000 then, you fuck stick. Four bedroom, four bath, though, that's a lot. Yeah, stage furniture, gray paint, and a handrail, and an eight foot handrail? Nope, that's not new. I hope you better not have put that in new. You better not have put this 2011 kitchen in. Them ugly ass cherry wood cabinets. Them beat ass Home Depot cherry wood whack ass cabinets. Gray me out. I'll get Cheryl Crow in here and Lance Armstrong to ruin cycling again. Nice, oh good, oh nice Victorian double vanity in your house built in 89. Great choice, cool, regal, royal. Look at the hand carved, oh. Nice tw 12 inch ceiling fan, cool. We're gonna switch, we're gonna go with tan in this one though. We're not gonna touch it. Nope, stick on tile. The tile's a 60 cents. Almost fooled me. Good, you spent, you spent 90, $90 on the floor. Um, I like the yard. Not making 100,000 on me, they did nothing. This backyard looks like uh, someone dropped a body off back there. That backyard looks like the first 48, the backyard. Um, yeah, do nothing, ask for 100,000 because you're, I bet you, I bet you a realtor owns this. It's like realtor owned. Not in my, not in my book ever. Trying to rip me off. I'll give you 226. I hate this house, buddy. You gotta do this backyard. Do you have fire insurance? Yeah. So we're gonna put some um, fire stick, <laughs> some fire stick gascanium over here. <laughs> we're gonna put plant a nice hedgerow of gascanium over here, and then right around the, this lattice work over here, we're gonna put another one of oil canium, some really nice, uh, some fire twist autumn auto canium on this side, and then we're gonna put some burn it downium on this side. We're gonna, the whole yard. We're gonna plant six yards of burn it downium. And then we're going to um, <laughs> leave a, you know, leave us cut a plug from an appliance, simonium in the front. Those are nice flowers. Maybe we can do a uh, faulty electrical ammonium in the, uh, <laughs> in the basement over here. And then we'll call, uh, then we'll call the cops. And then quickly get all the war medals, but leave the Rolex watches without the receipts in there. And then let, let, let the burn it down and really do the summer show. All right. Um, so the style, I think that this would take, it will cut these trees up. You're going to want to rip these out. These are, these are dog shit and dead. Um, leave a walk around here. Um, the style you want, I would look for. I would do like an English, an English garden style here. This walkway blows. You know that. Do a walkway out to here. I'll, you're going to have to, the backyard is a bigger problem. You need to, you need to, I don't know how much into this crack wood you own. But hope to God you're not going to put a shovel into a, a missing persons because this uh, 
Don't go ham on this house either. Your best friend right now is a tree removal guy. Get all this away from your house right here. Cut all this down. Leave some of the trees up, but pick your battle, pick one. And then I would do a soft walkway around the corner to a patio right here. And I would, you, you, you really got more work to do over here. And what I would be working on is planting large screen trees to screen my neighbors because all the hot tubs I'd put in. You're gonna to wanna to put some fast growing. Uh, we use white pine up here to block that off. You could use arborvitae, but you're gonna need a ton of them. It's gonna be very expensive. Whatever the fastest growing tree you can find and, and lots of them, make a straight line in the, la in the land and then maybe put a lawn back here if you can get it bright off, you can get enough, uh, you can get enough sunlight back there. You're gonna to need tons of loom and you're gonna to need to, this, this is the area I would concentrate on. I would knock one of these rails down and I would bring the railing down to, uh, I'd bring the stairway maybe all the way across and then put a patio here in the backyard. And I wouldn't worry so much about the front just yet, but you're gonna wanna wall off as much as you can. And fencing's not gonna cut it because you're not gonna be able to get the fence. Anytime you put a fence on like a yard that's going like this, it just looks like shit. Yeah. So you're going to need to use trees. You can put fencing here, but you can't put fencing down a hill and down a gully. It looks like ass. So um, you can use black rubber coated chain link and then you put plant trees in front of it and that'll get you the screening you want um, if you wanted to go ham. But you need, you need a pretty big landscaping job. You're going to spend uh, 15 to 18 grand if you do it cheaply. Fencing's a, a nightmare, so make sure you uh, take a stab at trying to do some of the ugly fencing that, that goes to the woods yourself and um, try to find deals on plants, and good luck with that. All right, we're at 299 Raycliffe Drive, Woodstock, New York. Uh, we got a house that's just so close. It's so perfect, except for this, uh, I own this light. I bought this ugly fucking light for my house. Spaghetti light? Yeah, yeah, I bought that, and I hated it so much, I just fucking kicked the box. This guy is a scam artist, piece of shit, lion, sack of scum. Not fooling me. You didn't pay two and a half million for this house. I don't even think they did any work. I think they're a bunch of liars. Look at this monstrosity. Look at this. My wife tried to get me to do this one time in the bathroom, and I said the bathroom was too small and she didn't believe me. But she's well, probably watching right now. Hey, hey Jess, you wanna see what it was gonna look like? It was gonna look like this. Look at this, look at how close the wooden topped toilet is to the $9,000 tub insert. This is someone trying to make a lot of money. This is like infuriating. This house, you lion sack of shit, you piece of scum. I'll bet you they bought this house for nothing. I would bet, let's see here, I'm gonna bet. Six acres, 3,000 square feet. It's been, on the, the, it's been on for five days. It was built in 89. This is a fire, I've looked at this fireplace before. That's like, uh, it's probably seven grand. Nuts to butts. No, uh, seven grand. The pool's filthy. Okay, you have a disgusting pool that's absolutely filthy with a uh, fucking bachelorette party fucking balls left in your Airbnb. You're um, honestly just poor decor, just just not even nice. Um, you have you have like a hippie shit all over your. You're asking two and a half million for this house. You have Turkish rugs. Um, they're okay. I sell them. I like them. They're all right. They're stylish. They're not my favorite. Not worth a two and a half million dollar living room rug. That's the statement piece rug. That's a college girl's rug. And then you have the Ikea furniture here and the remade CB2 furniture. Good for you. And the, uh... Then you painted the wood cabinets a cool color. Good for you. I like the Kelly green cabinets. But you did everything. You painted the handles. You painted everything. And the old school cabinets that were original to the house. The tile's filthy and not cleaned up. You've done nothing to it. Grass cloth wallpaper. Cool saw glaze tile that looks like you did it because the grout over here is a mess. Two target mirrors. 15 kinds of woods. We got an un... This, this bathroom is original. And then we have some nice colonial style sconces on this one. We went a different direction. We're gonna transport to another time where this fucking flip made sense. And you're eclectic. What would you uh, call your style? Eclectic, you know what? I'd call it cheap. Nice faux painted, faux marble painted Victorian mantle that you got at a yard sale and you didn't know what to do so you installed it in your modern home. It's like an eclectic, I'm, I'm eclectic. It's like you bought shit at yard sales and you installed it in your house and now you want $2 million for your shitty stuff and it's poorly executed. I'll bet you, I'll bet you bought this for 870,000 in 2008. Let's see, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah! To the fucking dollar! 867 and 14. How fucking. Come on! Chat! I swear to God that was organic. To the dollar! You think this is a job? Who are you 
think you got? I am! I am! I got you, son of a bitch! You're cooking with gas. It's not. It's all real. I swear I didn't see it. I swear. You can. You can do the run back. I can just smell the shit. Two and a half million, you asshole. You lying sack of shit. <laughs> that was the best thing of my life. I've had. I yeah, have a kid. That's a rush. I have a kid, and that's the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm being straight with you. That's the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. Sweet Let's heart. fucking go, baby. That dead on the goddamn nail. They used to have a contest back in the day. I'll tell you a short story. I used to have a contest. My dad's friend Vinny, rest in peace, Vin Furla. Crazy guy, really, really talented car buyer. Um, uh, they used to have this thing called Closest to the Pin Contest at an auction. Okay, so these big auction houses, Odessa and Boston, Mannheim Auction, all across the country. They would have a contest and they would give like the sheet to guys during Christmas time and they would give you like 12 cars. Okay, it would be all kinds of shit like 1993 Thunderbird Super Coupe, you know, uh, 2001 Ford F-150 extended cab XLT with 103,000 miles and then the, 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 the buyer, all kinds of shit, you know, 1999 Lamborghini, you know, Diablo SV, whatever the fuck it was, right? Yeah. So he would hit and he won two years in a row. It's a very hard thing to hit and he was very good at it. They give you like a fucking vacation to like New York. Yeah, they give you like three grand or something. Sometimes right. you win a Rolex watch. It was very like cool. And uh, that's a very hard, like hitting, hitting the mark. I love it. It's, it's just like a thing. So uh, that's a, just a communication and car person thing. And uh, it's starting to happen in the houses. But there we go. yeah, but just so you know, you know, you know, hey, we're cooking. This, this is real stuff. We're not, you're not dealing with some idiot over here. A little bit. I am screaming at a laptop in my garage, guessing prices of houses that people bought 10 years ago. But ah, I guessed it right. <laughs> in my heart. <laughs> no, no. But uh, that's just something that happens uh, quite a bit. Um, I don't know. In the merchant life.